go then. This is an X163, I guess. Yeah, I don't know what number something's missing or, or I messed something up on my list. Okay, this is a cool car. Got a couple smudges on the front fender. I've been looking for a nice little pocket rocket Lexus like this. It's not the V8. Them seats do that a lot on these, seems to me. <laughs> One oh six on this bad boy. All the books. Fifty thousand mile inspection. Okay, I'm gonna shut this off for a second. Actually, I'm just gonna put this all back and do it to it. I think that's kind of chilly. LED is burnt out. You want to sit in this thing? It's pretty nice. That motor looks good too. Don't it? Oh yeah. Twin cam, 24 valve, baby. This is a nice little car. For sure. Um, could you try the sunroof out, please? Damn it. And I'll look up the next car. Should be on the top, maybe. Oh, the other way. It's all the way closed. And then leave it halfway open like they did. That's perfect. And if you see me doing that kind of stuff in my videos, it's because it makes me think there's something wrong with it. And that's what you want, is you want for other dealers here to think there's something wrong with it, no matter what. Leave things out of place, leave things wrong. You know, some people are really illicit about it and they'll leave the keys on to where the battery's dead and everything. I'm not that kind of person doing that stuff, but basically you can definitely improve your chances of other people not being able to preview the cars they want, which makes them not be able to bid as much as they want to bid. You're playing and simply beating them at their own game. Now this is nice because the warranty is expired. It is a King Ranch that could be stitched together or have a new piece of ad leather added. It's definitely a nice truck. I'll bet you this thing fires right off. Uh, no keys, it ain't going nowhere. And I don't care anyways because I ain't buying no 2006 King Ranch. I will, will I wish I could have one. Just sitting around. Sitting around losing money with a King Ranch. Yes, sir. Okay, six. Wow, I wouldn't want to be six number 66. I don't think. I think it's going to be over here, Chuck. I got it. Got them both. Got them both. And the caddy you were looking at. 82 with 43. Do I believe the 43? Look at, they're all back here. Forty-three. There's one forty-three on this bad boy. Not that it matters very much. These had really lower horsepower, but they were the, one of the first years to come with the 700R4. And you can fit an awfully wide tire under these cars. And I believe it was the Crossfire, which it came once this year, and then in an 83 and 84, yeah, Crossfire two throttle body injectors on the motor instead of having the TPI. Does that start? Did you start it? It won't. It won't. Okay, next cars. Nice clean little truck. That's the kind of, oh, a Viper. So I'm gonna set this down real quick. And take me a picture for Instagram and tell you, hey, 
why don't you add me on Instagram? I put all kinds of pictures up, and you'll be able to see this here Viper. It's Instagram.com forward slash Cereal Marshmallows, or Instagram.com forward slash Hipster Cars is another one. Might as well look at this caddy. I absolutely hate them because they're all going to have a head gasket problem. 93,000 miles. Beautiful car. SLS, not the STS. STS will not have a hood ornament. It'll have the capped off, more sportier hood. Looks like it might have been hit in the front end because the hood is off balance a little bit. Is the hood off balance a little bit? Out of adjustment? Yeah, a little bit. It looks like it smashed down a half an inch? Okay, we just want to pay attention when we open it. Now these will go cheap. If you're interested in one, hey, replace the head gaskets and you'll have yourself a good car. That's all there is to it. In the meanwhile, just know that is one of the main problems. Check coolant level. It's all white where it's over. He just told me something. It's all what now? <laughs> Eat my ass, Cadillac North Star. Okay, now I'll tell you. You gotta, you gotta add me on Instagram. I'm gonna tell you again. It's Instagram.com forward slash cereal marshmallows, and that is definitely an Instagram picture with the Cadillac North Star logo. And antifreeze and coolant all over the place. Now the thing is, remember, if that's what you like and that's what you want to drive, man, you can get yourself a really beautiful one, really cheap, and in doing so, plan aside $800 to $1,000 to do the head gaskets and have a mechanic do them for you. You get a really cheap car, you have a couple grand in something that's awesome, that's nothing wrong with that. Just plan when you buy them that you could run into a problem. Um, there is a little 190 here, but I remember from the online it had 300,000 miles, huh? See, those are going to be a little bit smaller than the E's. You just like their old C-Class. Oh, really? Yeah. But but they're really, look on the side. They're just a little bit different looking. There yeah, it is. A little more or less short. Like a little petite little girl. God, it's a clean car, man. It is Last clean. year model, too. Really? It's a 2.6. 2, Isn't that exciting? Tell me oh, my girl. God. Look at that. Jeez. A 302,000 mile car with the original tools. Now this car could actually go. We're going to put this on our list. Look at the seats, Chuck. Oh, man. It is so nice. Can I start Started, it? yeah. Can I start and pop the hood. We're going to, you know. Oh, even I if, fell in it like I was supposed to be here. You are supposed to be there. This thing could go for three, four hundred bucks, man. Are you serious? Oh, I'm well, serious. 300,000? Oh, a, I, I, it's, it's, nice. it's a it's a it's a tenth of a penny per mile or something. Maybe a hundredth probably. It's gonna fire right up. Oh man! I'll bet you somebody did some maintenance on this motherfucker. Um, try out the tranny. Try out the Bruce Jenner. It, should, it has to be. You ran into the car behind you. Pop. This is going to be the kind of thing that I would definitely bid on. Has it got good tags? May of 2016. Yeah, buddy. Okay, I've said it over and over and over again. I'm gonna say it again. Add me on Instagram. I'm gonna take another picture of this, shut this off and add more in in a second. Okay, we're going down the extra aisle here. Now back here there's a couple, we didn't even have them on our list. We figured, hey hell, we're here, we'll go look. And you get all these different colored stickers out here, it really starts making you wonder what's what. Everything inset here, should be going through the auction. There is a forerunner here somewhere I was looking at, and there are a couple of these we were looking at. AMG wheels. Actually, I'd almost rather have the Lorenzer. This is the one with 75,000 miles, 
I don't know if I put it on the list because I was specifically trying to stay away from these. Can you pop that? They are little rockets. God, this thing looks nice with them tires. Oh, yep, big old S500 motor and a little E-body. Chuck's probably gonna take a picture for Instagram on this one from the hell of it. And that's that, talk to you in a second. 2011 Chevy Dually. Only 71,000 or something on it? He's been pulling something. Hey, not like that. Okay, well, I believe we're out of here. They closed at five o'clock and we paid them no mind. We're just walking around. We've stayed in an extra 32 minutes. That's just how we roll. That is just how we roll. An 04. Nice car. Okay, I'm thinking we're done. I wanted to check out this little Ford pickup on the way out. We might be able to find the Mitsubishi Montero. And other than that, I think we are about done. I like these little T-Birds. They're not exactly cheap yet, but they have that retro look. That 190 is a nice little car, huh? It's clean. How many miles? 223. Okay, a bit too many. If they made more of these and they were a little cheaper, I'd like to get a little Baja like that. Yeah. Was there something right here we were going to look at? I don't remember what number. I know that Eclipse is right up in there somewhere. I really, really like the Ford pickup. Stretch yeah. cab. Okay, moving on out. They got the electronic eye in the sky on. There's a big blue light coming out of it. That means they're recording me, I'm recording them. Blue eye monitoring. Hey, blue eye. There's my little eclipse. Probably gonna take a picture of this too, for the heck of it, because it looks like a clean one from the back. It's an RS, it's not a GSR or a GSX or anything like that, it's just a regular little RS. But I think this one was a turbo. Do we actually have this number on my list or was it a different one? RS. That's it. That's it. Is it a turbo? It is not a turbo. Inside. It's clean outside. The manual. 2.0 liter 16 valve. Door. And there is no turbo. This specifically said turbo on the listing. I don't care. That's exactly fine with me. I might even take a picture from this side. I'm going to tell you again. Add me on Instagram. I do lots of pictures on Instagram. Instagram.com forward slash cereal marshmallows and Instagram.com forward slash hipster cars. Is this the coolest car in the world? No. It's just cool that it's error correct. Looks to be 100% factory. 96 low miles. It's a 20 year old car that has low miles 
good upkept tires, Michelin's, and nice clean metallic paint. How are you gonna beat that? It's just nice as can be. It's not gonna go for a lot of money. And not only that, it's something that lots of people want. I know a couple of my buddies that had them when I was a kid and maybe they'd want one back. I know I'd like to have a couple of the cars back that I had when I was younger. Makes you feel young, darn it. Okay, that is the auction. So was there a three or a four or an aviator we missed or something? I'm gonna hit up this suburban. I see a bourbon. There's that Monte Carlo again. And we'll walk out through those cars to where we catch it all. 260, Chuck. This is the three quarter ton, probably. No, it's the, not even the. It's pretty clean. This thing's gonna go so cheap, it's pathetic. Look at those tires. Nice tires. 350, I'm sure. Junkie! You ready? Or you like that? Yeah, I'm checking that inside door handle, bro. We'd be better off buying the one that don't run. Right. I think so. Yeah, yeah. With a third of the miles. I agree with you. That's too many for me. Can it be too high? I thought that Tundra was our Montero. Okay, we have taken a lot of video, that's for sure. I'm not gonna be able to show a lot of the auction tomorrow because I don't have my Google Glass and it's really, really hard to walk around the auction with a camera like this. It really, really is. Did I say really, really and really, really? I really, really did. That's all there is to say about it. Really? Really, really, really. <laughs> See, that's pretty cool. Something like that, take it up there, there's somebody to buy it for the fire crews or something. Okay, that's about that. Calls coming in like crazy. And I'm gonna have to send them somewhere else because, did we have any in this last end we wanted to look at? Look at that yellow vet. Looks so sweet. Anything you want at this auction, guaranteed. I'm going to two to five auctions a week. And not only that, I'm picking out of 10 auctions or so, 10 to 12. Mail van, now these things, well actually this one's got a lot of miles. Oh, perfect for Chris. Probably, huh? Now nah, I'm wrong, they don't have the opposite thing for him. You know, there's just something annoying about some fucker who's gonna call you and it goes to voicemail without you sending it there. Just with it ringing like seven, eight times and then it goes to voicemail and then they call right back. Oh, yeah, and they do it again or something. You know what, that really gets you low on the list of priorities. I'm sure it'll be a happy hello. It'll be a happy, hello! <laughs> That's why Grace says what like that. What? <laughs> she overdoes it a little bit, Chuck. You wanna get a picture of that for Hipster? It's one of the Porsche Panameras or Panameras or I don't know how to say it. Panorama? Panama! Yeah, that's what it is. Okay, well, SL. I'm gonna turn this off for a sec. Okay, we have looked at cars until, I bet you, in the last hour and a half. We went for about an hour and 45 minutes. I'll bet you we've walked about four and a half to six miles. Somewhere in between that. Between four to five miles, for sure. We ran one or two. We ran. Back to the it's out here. That's where it is. Well, I found the Cadillac I wanted over here. Did you? Yeah, so I'm gonna have to loop around, but it's by. Ooh. Think that thing's lifted? I went by this before. 65 thou. Jeep Unlimited. I ain't spend that kind of money to ride around in a bathtub. That's all there is to it. Okay, we're out of here. Go look at this caddy. We're done. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you. Nice. It's convertible. It's like an 80. It's a Pina Ferrara. A Pina Ferrara. Okay.
like the Ferrari. It's designed by that guy. Convertible. Moves. Well, they move. They're going to be really collectible, I think. An 06 with 25 thou. Wow, this truck is hardly broken in. Look at the innards, man. Tank right there. Look at the guts. Spile diesel. Yeah, right. I can't believe that hood ornament's so fucking worn. Yeah. Low miles, low miles. One owner, Carfax certified. Almost new tires. No doubt. Look how fucking wide they are. Neato grabbers, or they're general grabbers. Wow, them are some wide ass tires. Actually, I think rides like shit. All over the road. You couldn't even stay in the semi ruts. Okay, I might have said goodbye before, but I didn't leave. I turned it back on to show you the Pina Ferrera, or Pina Ferrera, Ferrari, Ferrari Caddy, and that's that. Well, thanks for watching. I'm gonna clip this off and clip it all together for you. You'll see it in a few days. Uh, me and Chuck have been making lots of videos, doing lots of work, and we're making a big run at this. You're going to be seeing a lot of him on the channel as I edit these videos out over the next few weeks, and then he'll be back sometime in the middle of next month there or so, and we'll be taking a big run, getting out of the other lot, and then what you're going to see for there is a lot of auction stuff with him and me buying junk and spinning it around and turning it and cleaning it up and all kinds of fun stuff. So stay tuned for lots of fun. I'm going to just go ahead and walk this thing right out. There was a Ferrari inside. We'll walk through the side door and show it. A little BMW 650 or 630, whatever they are. 6 Series. Yeah, Betty. Okay. Well, that's it. Out of here. Go sit in the hotel for a little while. And then head to the Walmart. The Walmart! Got to get breeder dinner. She's sitting at the hotel patiently waiting for us. I just know she is, darn it. Check out my videos, subscribe, like, comment, check out my breeder, the Beagle website at beaglespocket.com. I'm going to take a picture of this because I think I could just do it to it. I don't have to wait for this truck to go by. I'll stand around and look lost here for a second, like, it is there where did they go that way? And then I'm going to... I mean, come on, dude. How much trouble could we get in with this? Not enough, because we're thinking about it. That's true. And there's the other one. We could be La Raza. Air troublemaker. We could be two of them at once. Dude, you just win dual prizes. Right. Du you won from both stations. I don't even speak Spanish. That's okay. That's okay. It's okay. Okay. Well, this was fun. I'm actually going to go through the really weird way here. Actually, I'm going to do a double whammy. I've got to. Oh my God. Hey Chuck. This could be of very, very much value. I don't know, I think it's an ES. I like that dent in the trunk. I think it's an It's got 57,000 miles. wrong with this thing. No check engine lights. What is this thing? LS? It's an ES 300. Can you give it a lot? Can you give it a lot? Is that all it had? I'm good to go. Go inside and try it, please. I believe that. Drop it into reverse and see what it does. It feels like there's a cat out or something, huh? Put it in drive again, please. That's good. Look at these books, man. 2000 ES 300, 57,000 miles. Now, I was going down to check out these couple trucks before we go. Now, there will be 
Wow Direct TV. I mean, we could get in all kinds of trouble with this kind of stuff. <laughs> Do they even know who they're selling this to? Trouble for impersonating DJ? <laughs> impersonating a Direct TV officer. <laughs> Um, Chuck, we didn't look at this. Did we? We did. Yeah, we did. Yep. Piece of shit 3.0. Yeah. Watch your language, Chuck. I had one like that, put two inches in it. Did, oh, I remember you had that when you were in Max yep, yep. wherever the hell that is. Hall. Hall. I like that. Even though it even started, I like that. And even though we didn't start that little Buick, I like it. I like the bug. Uh-oh. Um, could you start this, sir? Please? Holy smokes. Now this is a cool little car. Not for me, but this is what people look for. I want some cold AC, good tags. Good tags ain't happening. Cold AC might happen, or at least having it in these little stupid Hondas. People love these cars. Turn this off, hang on a sec. All the owner's manuals. What do we got for uh, under the hood? That AC ain't going cold, is it? It is. It is, yeah. It is. Try out the shiny if you would. Interior's nice. Now this is just something that It's exactly what I'm looking for. Be oh, what? Holy heck. So it's a little dirty. Brand new radiator. One more time? Brand new radiator. It sure is, ain't it? Oh, it's made in Taiwan. Okay, we're out of here. That thing is not that clean. Um, it's got low miles. Do an auto check on that. Check them out. Okay, we're gonna walk through, look at the Ferrari car on the way out of. I think there's a Z28 next to it or something. Huh? Yeah. Nice Mustang. Perfect fading. I like that. There's the Ferrari and the other car. Okay, thanks for watching. One on our car guy, one on our car We're out of here. That's all there is to say about it. We are out of here. Off-road bikes? Are these police bikes? These could be police bikes. KLX 400, 5,000 miles? Holy hell. Well, they got computers up here now, Chuck. Are these a police bike, Andrew? I'm not sure, that's why. I, I think they might be, Chuck, but I'm not sure. Border Patrol, or it could be just regular old bike, but it sure is nice. Yeah. I bet you this thing's a rip. This is 400, this thing is crazy. Nice little Enduro, huh? This is, the, this is on our list. That's why we couldn't find it. That's exactly what it is. I'm going to... Fourteen thousand miles. Nice bike. Okay, thanks for watching. One owner car guy. I'm gonna walk past the back of this just to show you. That's that. I'm gonna take a picture for the Instagram. One owner car guy. Dot com. <laughs>